welcome to another episode of the Grateful Gym Podcast. I'm the host, Jasmine Chanel, and today we're talking about da, 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 <laughs> things that I'm no longer doing in 2020, preparing for the new year. Stick around because gyms are definitely about to be dropped, so get ready. Before I get into this episode, I need everyone listening to this podcast right now to follow the podcast on IG at The Grateful Gym Pod and also follow me at Jasmine Chanel. I'll spell everything out and put it in the episode notes. Okay, let's get started. Welcome back, Gems. I'm so excited to have you here listening in to this episode. You guys don't know how much this means to me. I'm so thankful for each and every listener and I just want to take the time out to say thank you. Um you guys have been so supportive from day one. And I just want to say thank you. So as you heard, today's topic is gonna to be things that I'm no longer doing in 2019 and for the year end of 2019. So I can honestly say 2019 has been the year of transformation for me. Um I have learned that I need to grow and that I need to be able to trust more and not only the process that I'm going through but in what the process entails. So um, being able to fully trust God, being able to really trust myself and my intuition, being able to stand out on what it is that God has called me to do. And this year, I can honestly say has beat me up, you guys. I'm going to be real. It has beat me up. But guess what? <laughs> I'm still here. So I'm so super excited about everything that is coming to this year in. Not even jumping fast forward into 2020. I'm still in 2019 taking in the last days of the year so i'm so excited um for this year in because i feel like there is still so much to be discovered so much to be accomplished um i'm really excited so i just want to talk about a few things that i discovered in 2020 that i'm not doing um that happened in 2019 and previous years that i'm just i'm no longer doing So the first thing is being around negative energy. So I'm no longer going to allow myself or other people that come around me to be in contact with negative energy. Um, And this year I have been a little bit more standoffish than I normally am when it comes to that. Um, I've learned how to channel my feelings a little bit better and hold grabs to them a little bit easier. So I've found that when I'm in a negative mood um I don't really I'm not so quick to react I'm thinking before I speak because I don't want to project my negativity or my doubts or of myself or what I'm going through on other people so I tend to um just stay in my own lane literally um stay in my own element until I'm big enough or strong enough to pull me out of what I'm going through Uh, because I realize that no one deserves to be put down for something that they're doing and I don't want to come off as someone that's not genuinely happy for someone because I genuinely am Um, it's not about nothing they did it may be just about something that happened in the very moment of how I'm feeling so with that being said I've been a little isolated for the end of this year um, because in the beginning of this year it was a little rough um, and once I started moving and get myself back on track, it was a little rough. So I stayed to myself because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to project that energy off of anybody. And, you know, I still talk to people and stuff like that. But when it came to my opinions and stuff that I felt like I just shouldn't say because of my mood, I kept it to myself. And then when I got in a better space, you know, I was able to be myself. And I'm so proud of myself because I know when there's times when things happen to me And I'm so excited, you know, I'm super excited and I call someone and I tell them about it and say that they're going through something or something just happened so they're in a bad mood or they're pissed and that reflects on what I'm doing. So, and then it questions like, dang, well, I thought this was good. I thought it was exciting. You know, it gets to a point where we question what it is that we're doing because of other people's doubts, other people's fears. And I don't want to be that person. So I have been able to just pay more attention to my body language, pay more attention to how I'm feeling and pay more attention to what it is that I'm saying um, at certain times, because I feel like I don't want to be that person, you know, not saying that 
Um, I've done that or anything, but I've that's why I chose to move differently at the end of this year and to just be secluded to myself and God and really just take time to really get my, my positivity back because I can say I've had more negative days in 2019 than I thought I was going to have. But it's all good because I'm at a place where I'm genuinely happy. And of course, things happen. So I don't want to speak out of hasty moments. I don't want to speak out of something that is um, not going well in my life because it's going good for you. I want to genuinely be happy for you because I genuinely am happy for you. And I don't want a moment to come between that. So that's the first thing I'm doing. You know, um, just keeping the energy around me positive. And of course, you know, when people are going through things, they want your support. They want your dedication and they want your opinion. Um, but you have to also know when they want when to not be around other people when they're in a bad situation either. Um, you know, it's hard, you know, trying to sit here and be a better person for someone else when you're not getting that reciprocated. So you have to be able to know when enough is enough. You know, people will sit around in their misery forever, but you cannot sit down in your misery with them. Um, you can be there to console them, be there to lead them, guide them, and give them encouragement along the way. And just remind them that, you know, everything happens in due seasons. Everything happens at the right moment, at the right time. Um, just, of course, don't just abandon them. Um, don't ever just do that. But be more concerning of your environments around uh, that as well because that person's negativity um, even if they may have not intended for it to jump off on you it will because it's a chain reaction and that's just the way life works so you have to be able to just recognize um, what's going on be willing to be open to um, taking more self care um, and that brings me to the second thing that's also another thing that I'm doing I'm taking care of myself this year um, this year in and next year um, 2019 and previous years have been so focused around other people that I forgot to take care of myself I've been running 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 trying to uh, please everybody else and do things and my own strength for everyone else but I didn't take the personal time that I needed for myself and people will look at you and make you feel so bad about caring for yourself when really they're being selfish and you have to realize that you know you can do what you can do but don't ever run yourself dry for people that will not do the same thing for you people will not do what you're going to do for them and at the end of the day don't change who you are for them either if change yourself for the better don't sit here and do everything every time someone calls you're running every time somebody needs something you're picking them up because what you're doing is not hurting your you're not only hurting yourself but you're hindering that person from learning a lesson if you're always there saving somebody when they're down how can they save themselves when no one's when no one is able to um they're going to continue to look for people to pick them up because that's what they're used to that's what they always have so you have to be able to take care of yourself be willing to pick yourself up the way that you're picking other people up. be willing to be there for yourself the way that you're there for others um don't of course be selfish and take the whole year for yourself but make time for other people um go above and beyond for yourself too though don't just continue to be the best person for everybody else and not be the best person for you uh that's you know, the next time that you're doing something for somebody, just ask yourself, like, would this person do this for me? And nine times out of ten, sometimes the answer is going to be no. And that that shouldn't stop you from being who you are. Um, do the best that you can, but also just make time for yourself. Um, and that's the third thing that I'm doing, making time for me. Um, not only doing self-care and being able to be there for myself like I'm there for others, but making time for myself. So taking care of my body taking care of my emotions taking care of my feelings and i learned that it's okay to feel a type of way about these it's okay to cry when you need to cry it's okay to lean on other people when you need it but you can't stay there forever you have to be able to get yourself up and pick yourself up at the times that you need to you can't sit around in your misery forever and that is somewhere where i think the problem begins people um are just being able to just freely get away with not doing better because they're hurt or they're down or something happened. You know, God forbid, some stuff happens to people all the time. But you have to get out of your pity party and start feeling 
positive get into a place where you are anointed that the anointing over your life is being reminded each and every time that you're in connection with yourself be aware of how you're feeling be aware of what's going on talk to somebody you know don't be afraid to open up about how you feel to the right people don't just go talking and telling everything to any and everybody because that's how this that's probably how you got in that situation in the first place be willing to take yourself a little step closer and be a little bit more discreet in who you choose to talk to who you choose to associate with who you choose to let heal you and get you through this process uh, because you need godly counsel you need friends with you uh, i'm not saying everybody has to be you know the same but you want to be around people that you can definitely trust be around people that is going to lead you into righteousness and lead you to um, a place where growth comes you know be around people that acknowledge what's going on someone that tells you it's okay to feel how you feel but you can't feel this way forever you know you have to get through and process fully how you're feeling what you're going through don't just um go through things prematurely because it will end up in the end hurting you and no one wants that for you everyone wants the best for you um you want the best for you god wants the best for you so continue to spend more time and get around people that is going to encourage you to be the best you that you can possibly be um that brings me to the fourth topic <laughs> the fourth thing is going to be be discreet um i'm i'm I've talked about that a couple of times, but I'm really taking it to the next level. You know, now I'm planning a lot of things and I just don't feel that I need to validate them through other people. One, because of a previous thing that I said that I'm no longer doing because I've had exciting times that have happened for me and I get so excited about them and I get so rooted on things that are exciting to me. And when I talk to other people, they don't think that they're exciting or they're not exciting for me and that brings me to a place where I feel like I'm not enough or I feel like I'm not doing enough because someone doesn't agree with what I'm doing and I have come to the conclusion that at the end of the day everybody don't need to know what you're doing tell one or two people tell one person you know or keep it to yourself you know sometimes you don't have to tell everybody your business in order for you what you're trying to do to be accepted as long as you have accepted the call that god has put on you and that what you're doing is something that god ordained you to do you don't need anyone else's validation you don't need anything else from anyone else um I'm really excited about things that come up. So when I get excited and I get excited and tell somebody else and they're not excited or they're doubting or they're questioning what I'm doing, it makes me question. It makes me doubt. And it's not a reflection of myself. It's a reflection of them because that's how they feel about themselves. And you have to, that just goes back to your energy. You have to keep good energy around you. Of course, nobody's going to be a good energy all the time. So be able to have that um companionship and empowerment over yourself and over others to let them know that it's okay to feel down it's okay to feel stuck it's okay to understand and know where you are but don't continue to let that be where you stay be able to get up and move forward um i just really think that getting around people that support you people that um not yes people don't get it confused don't get around people that just go yes do this and yes do that yes 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 no you need some yes and no people get around people that is genuine get around people that support you that have your best interest at heart because i'm telling you in 2020 there is no time to consider continue to sit around and waste time with people that don't grow you people that don't flourish um not only just in relationships like uh romantic relationships but in friendships in family you know you can love all your family members but you don't have to be around them 24 7 if it's not meaningful why hang around the person that you used to be if god's calling you to greater depths and that was really for both of us that's for you and for me because i have been in a place where i have been uh, disobedience to grow because I was afraid of what growing looked like. So um, I went to church the other day and Pastor Tim said that a person without a vision for their future will always revert back to their past. And I, I'll tell you, I was really struck by this because I really think that that is the story of my life. You know, when I can't figure out what's going on and God isn't making moves or I'm not going to say he's not making moves, but when I feel like God is not 
doing things on my behalf or doing stuff that I want to see, I tend to take matters into my own hands. So when it comes to relationships, I end up making the right decision to leave that relationship, but then I go back to a previous relationship and then I have to remind myself, well, Jasmine, like at the end of the day, if you're with this person and you're not with them anymore, there's a reason why. Remember why. It's like that that part just goes out of the window. Or friendships, you know, you have a friend that you no longer talk to and I forget why I'm not talking to that person anymore or I'm not talking to that person as much anymore or I get in a better place and I revert back to my past because where I'm at doesn't look familiar and I can't predict what's going to happen and I think that having good vision is something that you need to discern with God and ask for guidance be able to say you know God I need your help I need you to guide me through what it is that you're calling me to because I really can't figure it out on my own and that's also um that's the last thing that I'm going to say that I'm no longer doing in 2019 I'm no longer leaning on my own understanding but I'm going to be face down asking God the whole step of the way I'm um, not interpreting what I think God is saying but actually seeking God until he confirms dead smack in my face what it is that I'm praying for because I have set myself up for failure several times thinking that what God is telling me and what I'm receiving is the same thing but really God was telling me the opposite and I'm doing what I'm ex- I'm interpreting what I want God to be telling me and that's not good that's not going to get you anywhere it's going to continue to take you in circles and you're going to be frustrated with yourself because you're not going to fully understand why this is happening you're not going to be able to understand what's going on in your life and it's not necessarily something that you can um, sit around and mope around about because it's it's our own fault and you have to be able to be accountable uh, be accountable for your actions and be held be able to be held responsible and that's just coming with growth be able to step outside of your comfort zones and be in a zone that you are unfamiliar with that you're uncomfortable in because that is the very place that God is going to seek you God is going to find you and he's going to tell you everything that he has for you and he'll show you you just have to continue to ask for guidance show show me God show me and just be content with you know where he has you so um those are the four things that i'm doing um this year in and going into 2020 because i really believe that this this year in is going to be a great one um this last couple of days in december is going to be the best days of my life they're going to be better than any day in 2019 and the day that january 1st comes 2020 is going to be a, a day of stepping out of comfort zone and stepping into new um that actually started a couple of days ago so it's not about the new year not new year new me but right now don't wait until january 1st to take time to figure out what it is that you need to do do those things now do it now don't wait on january 1st and say oh new year's resolution da, 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 da. no because you don't know when your day is going to come. You don't know how long you have to get those things right. And then you, if you're procrastinating that long, how many days do we have until the new year? If you're procrastinating that long, when January 1st comes, it's going to be another day. Oh, well, I said I was going to do it today, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow's easier and I messed up. No, you messed up? Okay, fine. Let's start over. Each time you you mess up, you start over. Don't wait tomorrow. Do it that next moment. Do it that very second that you realize that you messed up say i'm going to start over you got the wrong mindset i'm going to start over you can't find the the things that you're looking for you start over you messed up and you drifted away from god you start over you start over don't continue to walk in what is familiar to you because you can't predict what's going to happen you have to be able to step outside of what god has um, that you know sorry <laughs> you have to be able to step outside of what you're used to and get into what God has for you and in order to do that you're going to be uncomfortable you're going to be in awkward situations you're going to be in rooms with people that are overqualified for you what's the use of being in rooms with people that make the same money as you that have the same things as you who bank accounts reflect your bank accounts what happens when you get around people that makes more than you people that have more than you people that think wiser than you people that know more than you what happens is when you take what you have and times it times three times it times ten times it times five and you put those people in a room with you what can happen only greatness can come from those things right right and 
we don't think about that when we get in our situations we think about oh what what whatever like you know i don't understand what's going on i don't understand why this is happening i don't understand but in order to get clarity you have to see god through what he's calling you to so i really want you to take this time out and really think about your year end goals don't start planning for this new you new me attitude for the first of the year plan it now change your mindset change your groups change your growth change your walk change your talk the way and things that you used to do should bother you let me tell you i am in a situation where the old me upsets me the things that i could sit around and talk about or the things that i would let distract me or the things that i would encounter bothers me now i can't do those things and be okay And when I do to them, I get very convicted and I just ask for guidance. You know, God, what am I doing? Like, you know, what, what? And well, let me tell you, when you get around growth and your conversations start changing, your words start changing, your actions start changing, you look different, you smile different, you're brighter. You don't want to be around the same thing. Not saying that you have to glow up, grow up, and get bougie. No, you want to take everybody with you that's supposed to go. Don't keep holding on to people that's not supposed to be around you because you're going to block your blessings by holding on to something that is a dead weight. And it will hold you down for as long as you hold on to it. And as long as you're holding it, it's taking you away from what God has you and it's pulling you farther and farther away from the destination that you're supposed to get to because you're holding on to what's comfortable so step outside of your comfort zone get familiar with where God wants you and ask God how do you get there God what do I do how do I do this what am I saying how do I go pray about it get around people that can help you with these things don't be afraid to seek people because there's people that want to help there's people that wish they they had the same thing that I'm talking about in this message then that they had it now and I can honestly say that person is me I can honestly say I wish that I had a better guidance of my life. I wish that I had more clarity on where I was and how life worked. I wish I had more people to say, don't do this because I did it and I messed up. Not people that say, don't do this because I don't want you to flourish. Or don't do this because I don't want you to do better than me. Or no, you shouldn't do that because I don't think that's you're qualified for that. Not those people, but the people that genuinely wants to be happy for you. People that genuinely seeks you in order to make sure that God is pursuing you in the way that you're supposed to be pursued and that you're pursuing him. Someone that takes you beyond what you're trying to be. Someone that sees potential in you that you don't even know is there. So I really think that, um, you know, we just have to have a mindset change and you have to be willing to be willing to be outside of your comfort zone. Don't be so comfortable in comfort. Be uncomfortable and walk in comfort so i really hope that this um episode was helpful i know i got a little rough (laughs) got a little passionate you know because i really really think that this is the story of my life you know these are the four things that i'm doing right now i'm not waiting for the next year i'm waiting i'm doing it now because you never know how things are going to change and when you decide to have a mindset change things happen for you in a matter of seconds you know god can show up today and change your life into something tomorrow. You could be working in corporate America an hour ago, and then tomorrow you wake up and you're making millions. You know, you don't know how God's going to bless you. You don't know what's going to happen, but you have to be full-hearted into what he's calling you to and be stand firm on where he's placing you. Um, God wants your heart. And if your heart isn't pure, your heart isn't full with what he has for you, then you're not going to be able to receive the benefits of what he's trying to give you. So continue to just walk in obedience and be humble. You know, help people when you can. Help people where you're called to. And continue to seek God and see what it is that he wants you to do. And I just pray that, you know, this episode helps you and it gets you some clarity on some things that you need to do. And I hope that God was tugging on your heart with at least one word that I said today. Because I know that I'm not the only one that's going through this process. And it's not easy, but it gets better. And you have to just continue to know 
when to stop you know um like i said in my last episode you get to a point where god gives you a choice um he gives us a choice in everything he gives us a choice in having a relationship with him and having um the boundaries of choosing sin over prosperity and having rights for wrongs he gives us the choice in everything we do there's nothing that we do with god that's forced so you have to make that decision to make up your mind to do better. And when you do that, God sees you. And of course, you're not perfect. You're going to mess up. So start over. Every time you mess up, start over. Every time you mess up, don't keep counting. Just say, I'm going to start over. And you start over immediately. Don't wait that next day. Oh, wow. Well, I cussed today. I'm going to stop cussing tomorrow. No. I cussed today. Lord, I'm sorry for what I said. For speaking death over someone in our life. Because I would not want nobody to do that to me. So I start over right here right now an hour later you cuss again god you you pray that prayer you continue to walk by obedience and ask for forgiveness if that's what you're trying to do you know you're not trying to cuss you you do that you're trying to get around better friends but you keep reverting back to that same friendship that god is calling you out of and you know he's calling you out of it you know god i messed up um i'm still doing the things that i don't want to do the things that you're calling me from and i know you're calling me and i keep doing it i know start over start over um you walked into your, your job your job pissed you off so you're pissed off the rest of the day and every person that you come in contact with is going to be pissed off too because you're pissed off i messed up god i'm starting over you start over don't let nobody continue to walk in your mess don't do that start over no matter how comfortable or how good you may feel in being upset there's nothing good gonna come from that so I hope that you were able to grab some nuggets from this episode. Um, again, it was a little passionate, but I'm so real and so um, I'm so serious about this um, because I really think that once you start changing your mindset, you're capable of so many things because God will speak to you. He will show you things. He will use people to tell you things, to confirm things, to do things that you have been praying for for years and in a matter of a second there'll become answers from out of every angle everywhere you look there's an answer so be real with yourself be real with yourself take that step and make a change um i hope that this blessed you and i hope that you continue to shine as the gems you are don't forget stay positive have a great mindset i love you guys as always and i'll see you on the next episode bye